Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, hello. I am Spagazi and I'm back on another little video. Don't you understand? Hi besties, welcome back to another banger. As you see in today's title, we're going to be doing a how to grow your channel, how to start a channel, YouTube tips, YouTube Q&A, everything about YouTube. Guys, this has been the most requested video on my channel, literally. The most requested video ever to exist on Spurs and Cookies channel. Every, everywhere you go, every comment you see, it's just, please give me something this, please give me something this, how do you edit, how do you, edit? it's just been very loud, very, very loud. very loud. Even my DMs, it's been very loud, guys. I hear you guys, and it's here now, finally, round of applause for that. Finally here. I'll give you guys tips. I have a little notebook over here, so we came prepared, so you guys are gonna get the best of everything. So like, grab your popcorn, grab your notebook, and let's get into it. Guys, I haven't been in front of the camera in so long, like, different. it feels good. I finished writing my exams, like, yesterday, yeah, yesterday, and I was like, I gotta get, I gotta get back on my Zoom chat. Like, I need to, I need to do the most, you know? So, you guys, I'm back in front of the camera. I'm back posting. We're up. We are up. So, yeah, guys, I put up a poll on Instagram a while ago. It was, when was it? 27th of October. And what, what's the date now? 24th of November, almost a month ago. And I got responses. I got quite a few. That's actually a lot, but yeah, guys, we're going to answer every single one. So first, I'm going to answer you guys' questions, and I'm going to go into the tips last. So, any further ado, let's get right into these questions. Firstly, first question, we're scrolling to the bottom because first come, first serve. Okay, so our first question of the day is, yo, the confidence in me is not the one. I need help, okay? Guys, I, I get that. Confidence, that was the first thing for me. If you guys are my first, first ever video, not the first, the second video, which is the Q&A. I was so nervous. I was stuttering. You could see Hori. You were shaking, my guy. Even shaking was not in nice. I was shaking. Literally, I was shaking, guys. I was nervous. But confidence-wise, I feel like I was also scared to promote my channel that day when I posted the video. When it's time to post on WhatsApp and Instagram, I was so scared. I'm like, what are people going to say? Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. But confidence, I feel like just be yourself, man. Post your content. Be yourself. People who like you are going to subscribe to you. People who don't like you are going to subscribe. Not everyone going to like you. So confidence. Believe in yourself. Believe that you are that girl or that guy. And you can do this and you will do this. So post that video. Post that video. Promote it. Just be yourself. And the confidence will come along with it as people subscribe to you. And then they're like, oh my gosh, I love your video so much. Da, 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 da. And that is, wow, what a confidence booster. People who just watch you because they like you. Like, you know? So, you guys, confidence, just post. Be yourself. That's the number one thing. Don't try to be like everyone else because everyone else is already taken. One person not taken is you. So, be yourself. The confidence will come along. Just do things that make you happy also on your channel. Confidence is gonna come. No need to be scared. People are always gonna talk whether you do good or bad. The most important thing be yourself. Post that video. Watch the magic happen. How did you grow your guys? You guys, she's stuck. Why? This is our playlist. Sorry, guys. Next question is How did you grow your YouTube channel? How did I grow my YouTube channel? How did I grow? I was posting, and when I started, when I started my YouTube, I was consistent. I posted all the time, child. Like every weekend, I made sure that I'll post, even though I got like what? 20 something views, 50 views, 100 views. It was still views, okay? I post, I was consistent. And I promote it. Promote, promote, promote your channel, guys. Like, I don't care if you have five subscribers. Promote. Post about channel five times a day. Post. Tell people to subscribe. Just keep on posting. They'll get sick of you. But post. Promote your channel. And just be consistent. That's how I grew my channel. I was consistent. Um, I have a passion about YouTube. So it's not like I'm doing it for money or I'm doing it to pass time. And promote. So I promoted. I was consistent. And I just love YouTube. That, I think that's how I grew on YouTube. How do you edit your videos? This is one thing that I don't think I can ever like give you guys a video of or an answer for. I I can tell you what I used to edit. I used to edit. I edit with CapCut and my thumbnails. I use like go watch my thumbnail video. It's gonna be right here. Go watch that video and then you'll see how I edit 
my thumbnail. Editing videos, my editing is different in every single video. That's the thing. Like if you watch all my videos, I don't edit. My editing techniques are similar, yes, in every video, but they're different. Because I watch someone's video, I get inspiration, I'm like, mm, I want to do that. I do it. And then it's different from here and here. Like the video before and the video now and the video after. Uh, completely different videos. So I don't think I can answer how I edit. I don't think I'll ever make a video of how I edit because a chef never reveals the secret ingredient. So that's one thing I cannot do, y'all. I'm sorry, but nah. But practice makes perfect. That's all I can say for that question. What do you need to start the channel equipment wise? Literally, you need a phone, you need the sun, and then you need data or Wi Fi to upload, and you're done. But you said equipment, just a phone. Like, you do not need a camera. You do not need or Canon or Sony. You do not need iPhone 15 Pro Max. You don't need none of that. Just take your phone. Make sure that's good quality, decent quality, normal quality. It doesn't look like shaky, you know. And just foam, foam. I put it for you guys. You don't need a camera. You don't need tripods. I literally didn't have a tripod on my channel. Books, a stack of books. Put it somewhere by the window sill. Just make a plan, and your phone will sit. Like. It will it will work. So when I just need to have the good strategy in your mind. So all you need is a phone and natural light coming in because not everyone has a ring light, everyone has torches that stuff. Not sun and your phone. You said you're already you're already gone. Trust, you're already gone. How do you manage to post every week with school also? I feel like that's a really good question. Wow. How how do I manage to post every week? I feel like you make time for what you want. First of all, school should be in a one priority, unless you have other plans other than school. But for me, coming from sports and okay, my advice to you, school should be in a one priority. Like you should put school before YouTube or Instagram or TikTok, whatever you do. So how do I manage to post every week with those two? I have to balance it. I usually just film my videos the day before I have to post. Like I never used to do that, like, but that's a recent habit and it works because I work well under pressure. So, and I still deliver. So I usually, for the entire week, I just focus on school, homework, assignments, exams, tests, all of that. And then when it's closer to my posting date, probably like in the evening, like five onwards, on a Friday night, I film. And then I edit, stay up all night. I cannot stay up all night, but it usually takes me like hours to edit. So stay up all night, edit, upload. That's it. And I make sure that I get the motivation to film because it's something that I want to do. So it's never a thing of, ish, I don't want to film today. I'm so tired. There are those days for sure where you're going to feel like, yo, yo, I just want to sleep. And but just sleep, sleep, but not all the time. Not all the time, okay? So I feel like I just prioritize school more. And then I just time management also. If you see an opportunity during the week to film, film. And then you just edit it when it's closer to posting. But I, I put school first and then YouTube. I put school first throughout the week. I focus on school. And then on a Friday night or Thursday night, sometime between those two, those two days, I film. Unless I was vlogging the week and then I just edit during that time and then I post. So entire week, that my schedule. Entire week, school, Thursday, Friday, somewhere there, YouTube. That's literally it. When are you doing collabs? Ooh, collabs. You know, I have DM'd certain people. I haven't even like asked people for collabs. Probably like two people, you know? One person was cool, the other person didn't respond. I feel like collabs, I don't know. For me to collab, I wanna be on like almost the same level as the person. Cause if you have 50K, I have 1K. Well, how's that gonna benefit both of us? Like that, that makes zero sense. I have 1K, 50K. I'm literally just the one who's one to one who's taking something from you, getting nothing from me probably gonna get like five subscribers then what you know so i feel like for me to collab i need someone who's like more or less on the same like maximum 5k and i have 1k because the scale makes sense you know it's not completely rubbish you know so yeah guys when am i doing collabs i don't know probably in the future when people want to collab with me right now i'm trying to get into that because most of the time those things don't end well people start going on social media talking about oh no wait now nah, you scammed me in 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 you took my followers i ain't trying to have that drama on social media on public platforms so i will not be doing collabs in time soon unless people hit me up then we can consider it but right now i'm not doing any collabs in the future most likely right now nah <laughs> how long did it take you to monetize it took me a year and i think like 
Mm. If you want to be precise, one year, probably like nine months to get monetized. What is the best equipment for beginners? Your phone and the sun. That's all you need, baby. Your phone and the sun. Film, your vibe, upload. That's all. Like, you guys don't need a camera. You don't need a ring light. You're going to get that on the way. Okay? You don't have to have everything immediately. So, what you need? Your phone, the sun, a stack of books. You said. You said. Literally, your phone and the sun. That's all you need, guys. Your phone and the sun. Combination. <laughs> um... Don't you feel nervous or anxious when filming? I used to. I used to, like I said, I used to feel my first video. I feel like my first probably two videos. What? First two, let's say first two videos. I felt very nervous. I felt very anxious. I was like, oh, you never film. I let my heart beat fast. But now I feel like as time goes on, you get used to the camera, you get used to what you're doing. People, you have supporters, so you don't feel like you're talking to yourself. You know that people are going to watch this. So you're talking to them, you know. So I used to, but not anymore. I don't feel nervous, anxious anymore. Now I just pick up the camera and film. I'm also getting better at filming in public, guys. Bit by bit, baby steps, I'm getting better at it. Because usually I'm just going to be like, my phone's going to be literally here. And I'm talking to you guys like this because I ain't trying to have all of that, you know. But bit by bit, we're getting better. We're getting better. Trust the process. But I used to, but not anymore. I don't feel anxious and nervous anymore. Now I just, just vibe, man. What do you use to film? It has great quality. I use a Samsung S8 Edge. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is a Samsung S8 Edge. That's the phone I used. It used to be my mom's. And then when she upgraded, I took it because I didn't want to use my personal phone to film. When do you think is a good time to start YouTube? Now. Now. Pick up your camera, shoot something, and edit it, upload. That's it. Like now. That's the perfect time now. Perfect time to post now start a channel now there's no perfect there's no better time than now trust how do you figure out your vlogging style but vlogging style I, I think you mean niche um i don't know for me how i figured out my vlogging style was i would not post something i wouldn't watch that's literally what i used so would i sit there and watch a minecraft video of someone gaming for 10 hours i would never let me not say 10 hours, where I sit there watch a Minecraft person or Fortnite or whatever for two hours. I would never. Would I sit there and watch a vlog, a weekly vlog or something for two hours? Most definitely. So, you see, I post, I don't post something I wouldn't watch on my channel. That's like how I found my niche. And I always wanted to like vlog my life, document my life. So, if you would sit there and watch a gamer for two hours, make something that you would also want to watch. If you'd sit there and watch travel content, make that. If you'd sit there and watch like hauls or fashion content do that because i would never sit and watch a gamer i would never sit and watch someone making a haul and that's all the channel's about i would never but lifestyle sign me up so i feel like that's how i found my vlogging style i post what i would watch if i wouldn't watch it i would i won't post it you know so that's how i found my niche how do i promote my channel post on instagram post on whatsapp post on facebook if you have facebook post on tiktok post on snapchat post 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 promote your channel by any means necessary literally let's hype promote channel guys just post about it put the link put the name of your channel put maybe one video as an example so people can go watch it put it promote post your channel sorry promote guys tell people about it send people the link to your channel so i promote it just put it out there put it out there that's it i don't know what to vlog because i feel like my life is not aesthetic enough or interesting this is a big issue that we need to eliminate because that's how i felt in being on my channel like i started a channel because i wanted it right boom now i have the channel what do i post my life's not aesthetic i don't do aesthetic stuff i don't have like content i'm going out every day to vlog and interesting but that's not why people subscribe to you people subscribe to see the real you be authentic baby so you, your life cannot be aesthetic you can't say that not everyone's life is aesthetic like that but you have your own aesthetic so if you if i'm gonna vlog me waking up doing my morning routine eating breakfast like maybe chilling throughout the day and then doing my night routine and sleeping I will film that and I will post it because that's my life that people are subscribed for to see my life. So your life is not, it's not not aesthetic. It's just that people subscribe to see the real you. They want to see the real you.
so you just pick up your camera phone it doesn't matter your life is aesthetic or not okay people subscribe to see the real you okay plus make it fun also don't just post to post put in new editing styles animations you know so that can actually also keep people hooked onto your video if you feel like your life is not aesthetic you know so your life is not not aesthetic you just do the most just film upload people who like your content will come just be authentic you'll be okay how do you actually get monetized okay um i feel like this would be a different video like how to get monetized on youtube how to reach 1000 subscribers but i'll just say how to get monetized you need to reach a minimum of 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours 4000 watch hours equates to like 240,000 minutes that's how much so so you get 4000 watch hours and 1000 subscribers so you need to have 1000 people subscribe to your channel and 4000 watch hours which is mutually people should watch your videos for 4000 hours like it should equate to that it's only 24 hours in a day and i know damn well nobody's watching your videos for 24 hours so in a 24 7 you're playing on their phone you're playing on their um tv that 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 does not happen so it takes a long time some people if they get views that are like blowing up it's easier but you need to get that and then you apply oh and then youtube notifies you that you're eligible for monetization and then from there you apply for the youtube partnership program they review your channel if everything is fine like no copyright strikes no community guideline violations none of that and then you're good to go and then you just send you an email telling you that you are now a part of the youtube partner program and then from there you have to go to google ads and make an account put a valid account put a lot of personal details on there and then you can start making money and then the process of getting your money and all of that is a whole different topic on its own but that's not the topic of today but that's basically the basics of how to get monetized how do you stay motivated to keep on posting your videos i stay motivated because it's something that i want to do i'm in youtube because i want to do, i've wanted to do youtube for a while now i remember when i was in like grade six seven i used to film fake videos and edit them and, and then they just don't go anywhere because <laughs> i knew where they're gonna go youtube no so i've always wanted to do youtube and i have a passion for it and i like it and i love it so i feel like if you love something you're going to be motivated to carry on doing it if you love your job you're going to be happy to wake up every day and go to and go to your job you know so slay same as for me how do i get more how do i stay motivated it's because i love doing it because i think of all the people who are subscribed to me like you guys whenever i don't post you guys literally spam my dms and i'm like why oh, are you not posting please post post basically post so like it's you guys that keep me motivated as well as the fact that i love youtube and i want to do it like it's my choice to do it so that's how i stay motivated when you're scared to tell your friends that you started youtube if not how did they react i was i was i was scared to tell anyone except for my like family that i live with i was just so paranoid and i was about to come over i'm like do i want to do this like once once i start this there's no going back like do i want to do this but then i was like yeah i mean i want to do it me i love i love it over here so i got the courage to actually post about it when i posted about it, first i told my friends before that i told my, my parents my friends knew that i've wanted a youtube channel but like they never took it like that because we always just talk and then nothing happens but i was serious i was like i'm gonna do it watch this space then i did it and then i told them about it they were like oh my gosh i'm so happy for you coming for you to blow up you know like they were positive about it my friends were happy for me good vibes but yeah i was scared but i got over it and my friends and my family reacted well i don't get any haters i don't get any people who are like yo what are you doing everything everyone everything was just okay man people just carry on life like nothing happened and my friends are happy for me so that's great what app do you use to edit your videos i use CapCut to edit my videos how do i start huh how do i start a youtube channel the film edits you see that plus button at the bottom of your screen on youtube press that you're gonna see an option of upload a video press that upload a video then you have to put a thumbnail a title a description a location if you want but i don't put a location you have to put um add it to a playlist or not you have to turn your comments on your comments on and then you post then you're on that's how you got a youtube channel what's the best editing app in my opinion capcut right now because that's what i have access to and literally half of youtubers use capcut so it's a good app capcut is a great app guys trust capcut beautiful but other apps that are premium that you need to pay for i'm pretty sure they're also good so i wouldn't say it's the best because i'm i've only been exposed to like a handful of 
editing apps and so far from all the, all the apps that i've had experiences with capcut has been the has been the best so yeah i don't mind these questions that are irrelevant hey girl it's here i'm just wishing you all the best with your youtube sister mm, i love you so much i appreciate you thank you baby you see when i when i'm up never forgetting you you never forgetting you when i'm up always giving motivation sometimes you're my cameraman always doing the most i think i would say i'm twin for real thank you though thank you so much last question oh actually yeah. i want to start a youtube channel but i don't know how to start or if i start what is the first thing i'm gonna post um if you don't know how to start baby just film I, w I would say what's the first thing you post post a proper video don't post a q a i made that mistake and i posted a q a and didn't get a lot of views because people don't know you they don't want to know you why would you want to know nobody you know like why would you want to know a stranger so i say post a vlog or post whatever content you wanna whatever niche you wanna venture into post that video maybe you wanna do gaming post a gaming video first you wanna do vlogs post a vlog first you wanna do travel post a travel vlog first lifestyle post a lifestyle video first you wanna do diy post a diy video first and then as time goes on you do a q a because people don't wanna know a nobody so you don't know how to start maybe film when not film pick up the camera film edit make sure you're satisfied make a thumbnail post that's how you start make sure you just post and you've started once you post just have the mentality you already blew up that's how i keep i that's how i keep going once, once i posted i was like i'm a star i'm a star don't talk to me i'm a youtuber now talk to me nice <laughs> so yeah guys that's how you do it just take just take a video boom post that's how you start okay guys done the questions i'm sure you guys see we got to the top we done the questions we are now going to be getting into the tips. I have 10 tips guys, not that long. So y'all not going to be here for that long because we need to wrap this up now. But yeah guys, the first tip is define your goals. By define your goals, I would mean when you start YouTube, know that I have the goal of hitting 50 subscribers. I have the goal of hitting um, 10,000 views in this month, you know has set goals for yourself which also keep you motivated to keep going you want to keep going you know so set goals for yourself set goals that in a year i want to hit 1000 subscribers in a year i want to have 1 million views set your mind on something and then you'll actually achieve it so i feel like that's the most, most important thing define your goals first make your goals known know what you want to do you know the second tip would be to find your niche like i said your niche should be what you're doing in your channel you can't be posting now you post a gaming video tomorrow you post a travel vlog tomorrow you post a prank tomorrow you post a vlog what's going on tomorrow you post a diy what are we what are we doing in channel like what what are we here for we're confused because someone's gonna watch your vlog you're gonna love it you're gonna go into a channel next thing you post is a gaming video how i thought where are we going stop the bus i thought we're here for vlogs you know so find your niche for whether it's vlogging whether it's lifestyle content whether it's traveling whether it's diy videos whether it's how-to videos whether it's gaming whether it's pranks whether it's challenges find your niche and then just move about that if you don't like your niche move on to the next one it's not a crime to stop vlogging and then just do pranks 24 7 and that's fine you'll find a new audience that's gonna like that and come on your channel or your previous audience is gonna like that and gonna still stay on your channel so find a niche stick to it for a while if you don't like it switch it up simple but important find a niche your channel mustn't be all over the place we are trying to have something that's consistent the third tip would be consistency it's even written in caps consistency guys you can't say i want to reach 100 subscribers let me say that and then you post once a month what are you doing you probably won't even get five subscribers in that rate you won't even get five so be consistent post as much as you possibly can if you have a schedule great if i'm posting if i'm posting twice a week stick to the schedule if i'm posting once a week stick to it you can't be posting once a month and then you post two videos in a week you might for like three months you're gone ghost mode you can't do that be consistent and you will see the results trust me consistency is key consistency will, consistency will literally make your entire channel like it'll make your channel literally Next tip would be structure in your videos. Have structure in your videos. So I'm talking like a video should have, you're going to make, if you want to have videos that are like, let me say, the usual way videos go, 
you should say that you have an intro, you have the middle, which is like the main part of the video, what's going on in the video, and then you have an outro. So introduction, middle, conclusion. Basically like an essay or something. Your introduction, your body, and your conclusion. You can't... People that have watched, some people, so I go into the video, next thing, literally, we go into the video, and you're at the mall. No intro, nothing, you're shopping. What? What? Like, no, not even, like, a timestamp of, like, okay, today the date is this and that, and, you know, at least if you're not going to have an intro, put a timestamp, the date is the 24th, 24th of November, um, mall date, and then the clip plays. This needs to be structured, and that just makes sense to the viewer. Doesn't make it all over the place, you know? Yeah. The fifth tip is to make use of your analytics, literally. So if you see that your views are down, make use of it. If you see that um, once you get a certain number of subscribers, you get more features on YouTube Studio, and that helps you with um, seeing your views, seeing your when your subscribers are usually the most active on YouTube. Use that. Post during that time, seeing the gender of subscribers. Use that to your advantage. Seeing who your subscribers watch, use that to your advantage. So use the analytics. Analytics are there to help you. YouTube Studio isn't there for vibes, just for you to see what's going on in your channel. It's there to help you. So use your analytics as much as you possibly can. The sixth, the sixth, yeah, the sixth tip would be to engage the audience, guys. Literally, reply to comments, reply to DMs, all of that. When they post you on your story, repost, like all of that. For me, I feel like the one thing that I told myself that I always do is subscribers. I will always respond to comments, no matter how big I am, because I don't want to have that feeling of. Or oh, now I'm big authority. I don't need to respond to that. Be engaged with the audience. That's going to help. Trust is going to be effective. Engage with your audience. Comments, Instagram, DMs, all of that. Always engage with them. That's going to help. Trust me. That's going to take you to a different look. People are going to see that you actually care about them. You don't just care about making money or you don't just care about posting. So engage with your audience. Next one. I talk with my hands a lot. Like I'm always doing this. I'm always doing. I talk with my hands a lot. <laughs> That's what I realized. The seventh um, tip is thumbnails are everything. Thumbnails. Thumbnails are literally the main part of your video. If someone searches up morning routines, the first thing you look at is thumbnails, not the title. Trust, I know that. Look at the thumbnail. If I see a oh, beautiful thumbnail, the text is, I was popping, I can see, I can read what's happening. I see pictures. It's very, it's giving. It's going to draw me in. I'm going to watch the video. I don't care if it has like 10 views. If I see a good thumbnail, I'm watching it. If I see a terrible thumbnail that's bland, the text is very small, I can't see anything. It's very boring, it's one picture, you didn't put any effort, I can see that you didn't put any effort. I'm not gonna watch that. Your thumbnails are literally the main part of your videos. People are gonna click in your video because of your thumbnail. There's nothing else. Not the title, not the views, because of the thumbnail. So your thumbnail makes your entire channel, entire video. So thumbnails are very important. So make sure the thumbnail is giving, okay? Put a lot of effort in it. And even if it takes you 30 minutes to make a thumbnail, take that 30 minutes. It's worth it. Eighth tip is always promote yourself. I've been saying that the entire video. Post, 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 post. I don't care what people say. People are going to be like, yo, it's because you're always posting on my channel. We get it. I don't care if you get it or not. You will get it until you can't get it. I will post on my channel every single day. Promote until everyone sees it. Promote all the time. Even if you get sick of you, Promote your channel all the time. Instagram, TikTok, on YouTube Shorts as well. Promote Facebook if you have Facebook, Twitter if you have Twitter, everything. Just promote, post about it, let it be known to the world. The ninth tip is ask your subscribers what they want. This also helps a lot because you could be posting um, travel content, but you get like low views. As soon as you post a vlog, you get a lot of views. That's because such subscribers want so ask them in the comments ask them in the videos what they want to see they'll come ask them in the dms ask them on instagram what they want to see and actually post the videos because those will probably do good because that's what they want to watch and they'll actually watch because that's what they want so ask them what they want that'll make a big difference trust and the last tip of this video is keep your title simple but relevant title is important as a thumbnail that's because your title if it's too long and not searchable it's very less likely that YouTube will push out that video because who's going to search, um, let's guess, my metric dance, farewell, something, something, and it's just long. No, no one's going to actually type in that full thing in the keyboard and search for it. That doesn't work. So if your title is, for example, morning routine, 
everyone's gonna search that and that's gonna your video's gonna pop up more but your, but your title should also make sense like it should also have some sort of mechanism to draw people in it can't just be morning routine and that's it like my 5 a.m morning routine then you just put like productive stuff put keywords like use your keywords on youtube studio is also um a feature for tags where you put in all the keywords that you want for your videos that also helps a lot the title should not be long it also shouldn't be boring so you can't put on a long plus there's a limit for title i think it's like a hundred letters so that also puts and steers in the right direction to not go not even 100 i think it's 80. so you need to make relevant but simple titles that's also very important something that is searchable so yeah guys that's all of the tips we have today i hope i helped you guys a lot if, if i didn't answer any questions just put them in the comments and it'll be like maybe a part two or other videos sometime i don't know but i answered everyone's question to my best ability if you guys did end up enjoying this video please forget to like comment share and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you are notified every time i post follow my socials will be on the screen and in the description box below it has been lovely i will have to love and leave you guys now and i will see you in the next one peace